Absolutely. We're getting into Thursday, yeah. close to Friday, and we do have really good conditions for this weekend. But before we get to our forecast, I'm going to jump into what we're currently seeing with the remnants of Hurricane Ian, now Tropical Storm Ian, as it continues to move its way up out of Florida and making its way towards a secondary landfall where it is going to be moving back in. And we could be seeing some pretty torrential rainfall in Georgia, South Carolina, and even up towards Virginia. So we are continuing to monitor this. This is a loop of the last 24 hours of this storm as it made landfall on the Gulf Coast, really caused devastation across many areas, including the Fort Myers area, which is near where it did have that landfall. Continuing to see this really intense storm moving very slowly up to the north, about eight miles an hour. So it is crawling up to the north at this point. Right now, maximum winds about 65 miles an hour. As it makes its way back into the ocean, we could expect a little bit of a more intensification there, but it's not nearly as warm with those waters as it was in the Gulf. So still going to be staying as a tropical storm, but we are going to be continuing to monitor the impacts from the storm as it moves north and now as it is clearing Florida, we're going to start to be able to see lots of those devastation reports along that Gulf Coast. So we'll be monitoring that and we'll have full details on our website at KSBY.com. But it's a huge storm, but it's really the only thing going on across the majority of the United States at this point. A little bit of cloud cover over the Rockies, but here on the Central Coast, not a whole lot going on. We did have a cold front that moved through the area last night, dropping our temperatures slightly, pulling our winds on shore during the daytime hours and bringing us a little bit more of that dense fog through the morning hours. You can see that here on our clouds and fog tracker. Not too bad along many of our western beaches, but along our south coast, lots of that fog is making its way up from where it was in the LA basin, really limiting visibilities across our south coast this morning. Continue to keep an eye on that for the next few hours, clearing out quite quickly as we head into the afternoon hours. Now, checking out those temperatures, you might want that extra layer as you head out the door this morning, but you won't need it for long. 51 degrees right now in San Luis Obispo, 52 in Santa Maria, 59 in California Valley, 60 degrees in Santa Barbara and the Coyama Valley for today. Now warming up quickly, 91 in Paso Robles, 80 in both San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara today, 73 in Santa Maria and Lompoc for your afternoon highs. Along our north coast, still a little bit warmer, 95 degrees in San Miguel, 71 in San Simeon, 81 degrees in Avila Beach in the Five Cities region, still cooler by those beaches, 75 in Aurora Grande, 94 in Shannon and 92 degrees in California Valley. Along our south coast, lots more of those gusty sundowner winds, 85 in Solving, 75 in Orchid and 92 degrees in the Cuyama Valley. Now, over the next few days, we are going to be seeing a cooling trend getting into the lower 80s by Saturday in those interiors, warming up slightly by the middle of next week, but still really close to seasonal temperatures are expected for the rest of the forecast. Neil and Janelle, back to you. All right, thanks.